Minutes ago, Megan turns pale as Lady C gives evidence Meg disdained Fiji and Brown woman in the market. Evil, Meg turns pale as Lady C gives evidence proving Meg disdained Fiji and Brown woman in market. There is no doubt that Meghan Markle's global fame has gone through some tough times, leading people to speculate about which countries may have lost interest in her. Meghan's activism has caused attitudes to change in any country that respects Queen Elizabeth. It seemed like a hopeful union in 2018, when the Queen and the royal family gave Meghan a warm hug. Duncan Larcombe, a royal analyst, highlights the Queen's remarkable efforts to make her grandson's wife feel accepted rather than lonely. The Queen's support for Meghan and Harry's marriage is a significant step forward in modernizing the royal family, allowing divorcees to marry juniors, a privilege that royal family does not have. It's worth noting that Meghan's African-American heritage did not influence the Queen's decision to approve the marriage, did not influence the Queen's decision to do anything. It should not be considered a reason for the Queen's radical departure. Some 18 million Brits turned in to witness the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, a gesture of support for the whole country. However, Meghan has been criticized for using the discrimination tag to attract attention and generate income, which seems hypocritical based on her previous disrespectful comments about the thriving community. In a recent video, the woman revealed Meghan's discriminatory attitude during her visit to Fiji, where she showed disrespect towards a Fijian woman at the market. This behavior raises questions about Meghan's treatment to those she perceives as inferior to her because she appears to look down on those she perceives as less important. Lady C also noted that Meghan's self-identification as a person of mixed heritage is inconsistent as she previously identified as white until she found out conveniently to adopt a different identity. While some have attempted to connect Meghan's behavior to her family influences, such as her father and her mother, they may have reinforced different aspects of her identity. Meghan's behavior towards people of various backgrounds raises questions about her authenticity. Additionally, Meghan's painting of the Ukrainian flag upside down and her use of red lettering during the conflict show a clear lack of awareness of international norms and diplomacy. In short, Meghan's actions have led to strained relationships and questions about her authenticity, making her a divisive figure in various countries, including the countries that deeply respect the Queen. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle is said to have undergone a wardrobe overhaul upon entering royal life and admitted that she has chosen a more neutral color palette. Speaking of style statements, expert Miranda Holder notes that although the Duchess of Sussex is used to pulling out all the stops in her Hollywood life, remnants of her past life remain lingered in her work. According to the owner, this has been evident with her brand choices such as Christian Dior, which has not seen much on the regular Royals brands due to their support of more local British brands. In contrast to Kate, Meghan comes from the glamorous American film and television industry, where people often dress for success and express themselves by wearing the best clothes you can afford. She said, although Meghan admitted that she tried to dress in a neutral style while she was working a member of the royal family, she was trying to blend in. She still threw the kitchen sink in there, cleverly said to involve super brands like Christian Dior in many of the most risky moments.